Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe, and today we are finally recapping Taylor Swift's first game back at Arrowhead Stadium, her first game back with the Chiefs because it was the NFL's first game of the regular season, Chiefs versus Ravens. I don't know about you guys, but I had been waiting a long time for this first game. It felt like we'd had a very long break, a very, very long break from football. And it was so fun to not only have football back. I've told you guys this before. I'm a big Chiefs fan since birth. Um, so I love football, always have loved football. Obviously, Taylor Swift getting involved in football, dating Travis Kelsey has now made game days just the NFL season as a whole, so much more exciting. So we're going to break down the entire game, what she wore, what she did. I have no agenda and no plan for this episode, which is rare. So we're just going to see where this takes us. <laughs> um, we haven't seen Taylor in a while. She's been very low key. We obviously got those photos of her and Travis and Patrick and some other people, the paparazzi photos of her in Rhode Island, um, hanging out, having fun. But for the last couple of weeks, she's been down low, hasn't been seen. I assume, honestly, she's just been recovering from her incredibly long tour, probably just relaxing, having some downtime, chilling, maybe seeing some friends, some family, just like taking a breath. Um, but I think we all assumed that now that she has this break in her schedule, that she was going to spend a good chunk of time in Kansas City and that she would be at as many football games as she could be at. And sure enough, she was. Um, so she made her way to Kansas City yesterday, Thursday for the game. I think a lot of people also were like, is she going to bring anybody? Because I feel like last season that kind of became a theme. Maybe not so much for home games, but she was always kind of bringing some people to these games, mostly away games. She'd bring her friends along with her. Um, her parents came to a few games, but she came to this one solo, looking fantastic. I don't know if you guys gasped when you saw her outfit and what she wore, but I was like, Taylor, oh my God. She wore this amazing Versace denim set, I think, or maybe it was just a denim uh, top and then the shorts were not Versace, but it was actually, I don't know if people remember what she wore when, when her and Travis made their first kind of debut as a couple, like kind of public outing debut. They went to SNL last year and Taylor Swift wore this black corset uh, top, a Versace top. The one she wore yesterday was the denim version of that top. So she's worn these tops around Travis Kelsey quite a bit. He must be a fan. Um, so yeah, denim top, denim shorts, and then these incredible like knee high red leather boots that I don't even know how she could walk 10 steps in those boots, let alone like exist and wear them for an entire football game. I know she's sitting down most of the game, but oh my God, my feet would hurt so badly but she looked amazing. Her hair looked so good. Her makeup looked so good. Like her jewelry, it was just, she looked, she, I could tell that whether she worked for the stylist or not, she definitely put a lot of time and thought and energy into this first outfit. And I think a lot of us probably also were like, is she going to wear Chiefs gear? Is she going to wear like a Chiefs jacket? Or is she going to wear something Travis Kelsey? Um, and I kind of feel like she will maybe down the road. But for this very first game, the first time we're seeing her this season, she had to make a bit of a statement. We saw her on the TV pregame talking with Travis's dad, Ed Kelsey. They seem to have a really sweet, nice bond together. She was also seen with Donna. But to be honest, we did not get a lot of Taylor Swift during the broadcast. And I have, if anyone out there is complaining about the amount of Taylor Swift we got last night, you, I think, are probably a miserable person who finds reasons to complain about anything because she was genuinely barely on the TV. Barely. I think she was maybe shown, and during the actual game, she was maybe shown like three times. Maybe. There was the one segment where they talked about what Travis did during the off season and they brought up like him going on stage with Taylor Swift and they showed her then. But honestly, they really didn't show her very much. And part of that has to do, I think, with the fact that Travis didn't have like a ton of huge plays. He had like one big catch that he made. Um, but other than that, he was pretty quiet throughout the game. So I think that probably had to do something with her lack of um, appearances. 
but she really was not on the TV all that much. But we did get some social media footage of her cheering, celebrating. She loves to throw up the tens when Isaiah Pacheco scores a touchdown. I saw her holding up some fours for Rasheed Rice. Like, she's a football girly now. You know, she's a football girl now. We've also heard that she's been drawing up plays for the Chiefs. Imagine if, imagine if the Chiefs make it back to the Super Bowl, okay? And they're going for a three-peat, something that's never been done in the Super Bowl era of the NFL. And on the game-winning drive for the Chiefs, the play that wins the Chiefs the, their third consecutive Super Bowl is a play drawn up by Taylor Swift, and they win. <laughs> now that would be a storybook. That would that would be that's that is they don't write stories like that in fiction. That would be too good to be true, honestly. But um, I can just tell now too, like watching her over the last season, how much she's become a fan of football, how much she loves football. I just can tell she's a big fan now and I think it is so cool and so fun to watch and I love it so much. Um, we also saw Travis and Taylor leaving the game together, walking off as they do, both looking again fantastic. Because the game was on a Thursday, I have to imagine that now they're going to have the weekend off, which is obviously super nice um, to have some time together. The Chiefs play back in Kansas City next weekend, so I kind of wonder, will Taylor stay in Kansas City for the week? Will she be in Kansas City for a couple days and then leave and then come back? Because I feel like when she's in Kansas City, it's nice to be with Travis, but there's not a lot of things that she can do. Like she's kind of confined to Travis's house or like going to hang out with other players' families, but she can't really like go do very much. So I wonder if she just doesn't really like spending a lot of time in Kansas City. Maybe she does. I don't know. We'll find out. But as as I said, next weekend, Chiefs versus Bengals. Again, I imagine Taylor Swift will be there cheering, celebrating. I, for one, cannot wait. (laughs) Can't wait. I'm just, I just love this. I love that we're transitioning from, you know, pop star Taylor Swift to wag Taylor Swift. It's always so much fun. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of her outfit, her appearance, all the things. If I've missed anything, let me know. We can discuss it next week. Um, And yeah, we're just in a a football season's back. Wag Taylor's back. And this is an amazing, amazing time. Um, So as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.